next tool we're going to look at is really useful. I've gone ahead and drawn two boxes here, a blue box and a green box, and I've intentionally misaligned these boxes so we can see how this works. It's the alignment tool. Now the alignment tool has other tools below it. We're only going to look at this first one today. If I select my first object, select my alignment tool, and then I'm going to drag and drop onto what I want to align to. So for instance, if I want to use this block right here, I'm going to click and hold my left mouse button down, slide it over to my blue block, and let go. Now, the green block disappeared. It really didn't disappear. It aligned itself. And we'll use this box right here to show what's going on. I'm going to turn some things off. My X, Y, and Z positions here. I'm going to go ahead and turn off everything so we can see what happens one at a time. Now, we're going to use our pivot points to align, and you can choose center, whatever that you want to do here, but this pivot point will work good for what we're doing. If I select the X position, you can see in our 2D views, you can watch it actually align up here. So X position, notice that it aligned on our X axis with each other. Now I can select multiple boxes here. So or I can choose just one box. I'm going to turn this one off and turn this one on. And notice it aligned on our Y axis. Turn this one off, turn this one on, and it aligned on our Z axis. So you can imagine if we clicked two boxes, it aligned here, but it's still not aligned here because this is our Z axis. Turn that on. It appears like it disappeared. However, if we just simply move the box, you can see that it shows up again. It's just perfectly aligned. We can scale it a little bit so that we can see what's going on. And now when we have everything selected, you can still see it's a little off. 